Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the concept, new concept, named views in the view router. So, what is the concept of this named views? We have seen about the named routes. So, whenever you are trying to define a route, we can also assign a name to the route so that in the router link or in the programmatic navigation, we can use that name. So, what is this named views? Sometimes you may get a chance or you may want to display multiple views at the same time instead of nesting them. So something like I can say example creating a layout with the sidebar or a main view like that. So in this place named views comes in a handy way. Instead of having one single outlet in your view, you can have multiple and give each of them a name. That means a router view without a name will be given default as its name. And router view with a name means you need to mention the component. I will show you by a simple example. Let's say I will create a two components. So that is in the component left, left sidebar and right sidebar, left sidebar dot view. Okay. And the right sidebar dot view, right sidebar dot view. Okay. And here I will be having a template. So I can view right sidebar component. And this one in the left sidebar, we can have the left sidebar component. So these are the two components. Now the requirement for me is, so when I am trying to see the home page, the left sidebar component has to come on the left side and the right sidebar has to come on the right side and the home page should be at the middle. Whereas in the about also here, left sidebar and right sidebar has to come and the about page has to come in the middle. In the same scenario, post page should not, uh, which it should not have the left sidebar and right sidebar. It should be like this only. So that means in, in only the home page and about page, I need left sidebar and also the right sidebar. So for this one, what we can do is we can use the named views. For example, let's say in the home means this is the home, right? So instead of mentioning a single component, we can mention the multiple components. So here I can mention the multiple components in this one, the default one, the default one means the in the middle one, the default one is a home. So, and the another one is the left sidebar. So I need to include the left sidebar left sidebar and the another one is the right sidebar. Okay. So these are the two, three components, which I want to mention here. We can import the left sidebar, which is like this, like this, and it should be in the components. Okay. And the last one is the right sidebar. I need to include this right sidebar. So that's it. So now we have included the left sidebar and also the right sidebar. Let's see how, what the output will become. So if you try to see the home page, the home page is, doesn't change anything. So it is uh, moreover the same thing only, which we have seen it previously. Now the concept, what we need to do is, so here we need to change the uh, route views. So here in the home page, so in the home page or the home view, so we are having a simple like this, right? Or in the app dot view, okay. App dot view where the router view is loaded. So here the router view doesn't have any name. So that means only the default route view will be loaded. So that means here the default component, what is the default component? That is home component. It is loading. Now I need to load this left sidebar and also the right sidebar. So which contains the same name, the key property. I am using the ES6 type of syntax. So if you don't know about this ES6 type of syntax, so you can better see my course ES6 complete course. There you can able to understand it. Now here in the app dot view, I need to add the router view. So here I can keep this one as eight and I can add do class is equal to call mod two. And here I will be adding a router view. And the name of this one, I will give it as a left sidebar. Okay. Left sidebar. That's it. And for this one, I can give here the name for this one is the right sidebar. Okay. That's it. So here call mod it two two. And if you try to see the home page. So here left sidebar home page and also the right sidebar is loaded without any problem. You go to the about page. So about page is coming in the middle and left sidebar right sidebar is not coming. And the post is also is coming in the middle, which, which doesn't look very nice. First, let's try to solve the about page in the about page. Also, I want the same thing. Just how you are showing the left sidebar and the right sidebar. Okay. So here let's go to the main.js and for this about also, you can copy these all components and you can paste it here, but here the default will be about that's it. Now, if you see the output for this one, home is there, about is there and also the post is there, but the post 
left side bar right side bar it should not have so here we are having like this the space should not be taken so for this one what we can do is so one type what we can do is instead of having this call mod 2 and all those things this come this comes purely on the css base class is equal to call mod 2 and i can change this one to call and here also i can remove this router view okay and i can use class is equal to call mod 2 that's it now if you see the output for this one let's check the output yeah in the home page we are able to see the left side bar and right side bar home page and in the about also we are able to see left side bar right side bar and in the posts we are able to see the post without any problem so in this type of situation so whenever you are having a situation in such a way that only some of the components are need to be injected in some of the pages means so you can use the concept of named views so that is the thing for example in the about page left side bar should come in the right side so here i can give something like right side bar like this and right side bar should come in the left side so here i can give the name like this now the entire thing changes in the about left side bar will come at the right far end you see here in the about see right side bar is coming here and left side bar is coming here whereas in the home page left side bar coming here and right side bar coming like this you can mention whatever the component you want here you can mention it so here you can mention for example in the left side bar i want to get the about page okay so i can mention here left side bar so this is the name so whatever the name here you are trying to give it the same name you need to give it in the route name also so that is the main thing and here you are able to see the about page instead of the left side bar so like this whatever the component you want to get it in the named view so you can make it now you may be getting a doubt that why can't we make this header component so i can change this one to router view okay name is equal to header or something like this so why can't i mention this one okay so you can use it so not a problem but what you need to do is in all the routes you need to mention this one so here you need to mention header and the header so we need i don't compress is imported yeah no, it's not imported so header let's try to take the header and this header we can give it here header and in the app dot view what is the name we have given header right make it as a capital and here in the main.js we can take the entire thing as a header so like this you need to mention wherever you want to mention here you need to mention and here in this components also you need to mention the uh, like this so here you can mention it default post and the header that's it so now if you see the output so here you are getting error components header view okay here is this header view header component right header component okay let's have this one let's see the output whether we can able to get it see we are able to get the same output but this time what it is happening so this component is loading it from the router view so like this you can use whatever the thing you want you can use it but it is not a uh, correct way why because why because this header we need to inject it everywhere wherever we want we need to inject it better what we can do is so we we can inject it here directly why because in every layout we need we need right so that is the reason we can add it like this header component and we can remove it from the uh, what i can say from this one so that automatically it will be injected so that is the main thing what i want to try to explain you so that's it i think so this is all about the named views concept in this one so what i will try to do is i will commit this all the code see with output previously i committed with some error so but i have fixed it that error so no problem so everything is working fine okay so you can uh, let's create a new branch this is a video 60 so video iphone 60 and this one is the named views right named views i'm using the named views and let's commit this all code yeah, publish the branch and if you want uh, the github link and all those things is provided in the in every video in the description below so you can check in that description so the github url so whenever you want to refer the code and all those things the code is provided in the github link below and this video 60 is also committed so whenever you want to have a reference for this one you can go to the, you can go directly to this branch and you can clone the code and you can check this code and the main contains all the updated code so all these videos everything whatever the updated code it has been added it will be there in the main so individual individual code according to that video the code will be there in this one so this is all about this name use concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions 
please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you